I absolutely have in horror birds inside cages. Me too. I, I, I can't bear it. I can't bear it. And you know why they sing? They sing because they, they, they are imprisoned. No, no, no. So they are all empty. They have no bottom. So the birds can go in, play a little bit and come out, or they are empty. I love keys. You open doors with keys. It's always opening. But th this is a 19th century French trousseau of a thief. You can absolutely unlock every possible keyhole. Lock. Keys, more keys, more keys. More keys, more keys, more keys. My little bell. My friends, the books. The first time in five years I have my books in, in bookshelves. I don't like all these uh, digital books. I love to feel the page. I love turning the page. I love the smell of the old paper. I love the print. Sometimes I take a, a delicate pencil and make annotations. Five, six years later, I open the book again. I say, oh my gosh. This is what I wrote 10 years ago. Let me see if I feel the same way about that. And I reread it. I say, oh yeah, maybe I would add it. It's alive. It's alive. Scarves. Scarves do everything. Now, whether it's shoulder-like scarves, big length, wintry scarves, but that's very French. So I've got loads of scarves, scarves, more scarves. I mean, the moment you put a scarf on, that's Saint Laurent, by the way. That's from my grandmother. Wow. And you can wear it like that. You can roll it like that. You can put it, it looks better on black or uniform color. You can put it like that. You can do anything with scarves. You see? So by using scarves, it makes, it makes the outfit, truly. All you need is a basic sample, and then you, pl you play with scarves. Different colors, different textures. I have like here, I have like uh, 40 years of scarves. Scarves, 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 scarves. Everything is in scarves. 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 Look at that. Mm. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. That's all Saint Laurent because grandma had access to his, uh, but look at this beauty. You can put it in your hair. You know, you go like that. 
You can put it on the shoulder. You can mix. You can. It's incredible. And that those are more than thirty years old. This is the photo when uh, I showed you in the when I was a model. Those are the scarves I used. You could dress yourself in scarves. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna become the scarf lady. More scarves, more scarves, always more scarves. Black and white colors. So scarves are really, whenever you find scarves, or you can make your own scarves. This is not a scarf. This is a piece of material I bought, not as a scarf, as a piece of material. People would make dresses or something. I use that as a scarf. And that is so beautiful on black. And you have, those are Mexican. Those are carré squares. And comme ça. You can use that also. You turn it and you can make a, a belt. Lots of scarves, lots of scarves. More scarves. It's 40 years of scarves. And you can wear it like that too. If you just put it on the shoulder like that or tied like that onto your bag. Of course, the scarves take you back to Isis and the veils and Salome and the dance of the veils. So there is something ancestral, ancestrally feminine about scarves and veils because they conceal but not totally. They conceal and reveal, which is all about femininity. You don't show too much, just enough. Don't show it all. And you take care of them, yes? It's so simple. And truly, no? And there is nothing vulgar about it. And yet it's very, I find it more sexy than showing all the, all the boobs and mini skirts. And this is how I'm gonna dress tomorrow. Tomorrow there is a, a fiesta organized for the Fringe Theatre, yes? And I'm going to be part of it. So, I know I'm going to wear that. It's like the blank, the blank canvas. And then I'm going to spend hours choosing the right... the right scarf. That might be it, because bit of silver here, silver there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you use yourself as a, as, as a canvas, really. Maybe too much, because this is, this is too much, too much. That, that could be nice. That could be nice for tomorrow, but... You see, I've not done that in so many years, and I start to be a little girl. Okay, and I look vain, but I'm not. And uh, I spend my time in the studio covered with paint and welding with nails that are broken. And when you said, okay, let's go and look in your closets, the little girl became alive again. And I'm finding myself playing. But you know what? It's gonna be that again. I don't know, I don't know. I love gloves. I've never worn them here, obviously. Those are so old. Those are my Parisian gloves. But when you wear gloves, it, it, it has a wonder, wonderful feeling. What does it do for you? What does it do for me? First of all, it takes me back early 20th century. All women wore gloves. It reminds me of my grandmother. She always had gloves, always had gloves. And the leather, the leather kid, it's... Uh, I don't know, I, th I find it very sexy, and then you have to... It's so feminine. You know, when, when you take off your gloves, you go slowly, 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 slowly. You pull, and then the hand appears. I don't know, I, th I, I find it very sensuous, very sexy. Voila. Voila, my dear. I love that. That I found in a... a on San Francisco in San Miguel. It's that, that made in Mexico. And it's not a question how cheap I got it or not. It's all handmade, it's beautiful, and it cost me 200 pesos, which is like $18. And if the house Saint Laurent, the house Gautier, 
we're getting hold of that and we're doing it. They would sell it probably for 300 euros, which is like uh, $400. And, it, and again, the mercantilism of it. Those are artists from Mexico who have the eye. Uh, I think it's superb. Oh, voila. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's just so simple and so beautiful. You don't need anything else. If you have that here, don't put this and this and this and this. You become like a Christmas tree. One thing that sings. Yes? That those, this is not jewelry to say, uh, I have five million dollars worth of diamonds on me. This is not jewelry. Jewelry is when artists have crafted, they have sculpted, they have thought of a shape. It's not just a rock. Do you see what I mean? This is a big difference. A rock is an investment, and then the wife or the girlfriend becomes the walking investment. Look how much money I spent on the, my girl. And she walks. Ooh. Jewelry, it must have soul. Costume jewelry. The, those are all theater props, all fake and all wonderful. So fun. It's fun, huh? Those are all theater props. I've kept all my theater props from the, all the years. All the years, the little boxes. Voila, madame. Oh, I found my green wig. You want me to put my green wig? Yes. Okay. I'll go to the other room. You see, I take care of my things, huh? I might go tomorrow with my green wig. What about that, no? Okay, give me two minutes and I shall put my green wig on. <laughs> yeah, that was an old camera box. Garage sale San Miguel, garage sale San Miguel, garage sale San Miguel. I mean, this is heaven to make a fall here. Okay. What does it do for you emotionally? How do you feel? I feel different. I feel I could step into somebody else's uh, life and do all sorts of things I wouldn't do otherwise, like uh, going to people and, uh, and, say, and say things and say to them, I don't know you, but I would like to meet you. Or I, I, I feel empowered. I feel... Uh, I feel that one of myself can come out. Beware! So I'm gonna wear that tomorrow, but I will wear it with a, a sock so you don't see the black thing. So I'm gonna wear that like that, comme ça, and I'm just gonna look for a scarf. Oh, that could be the one. And if you do that, no jewels. No jewels, one ring, that's all. Oh, my grandma, she loved to dress up. She had wigs also, she was, uh, she was an amazing, uh, and she had drawers of scarves, and uh, when she died, she gave me all her scarves, because I, she told me, I know you will wear them, I know you'll play with them, give them life. <laughs> so, I, oh, my grandmother, 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 it's everything grandmother. Love you, grandma, you're alive and well. Coffee, see. Si. I love it! I absolutely, positively love it! It's stunning! Ah. Now I'm going to remove that because it's a torture instrument. <laughs> My point is that you shouldn't have to suffer to look good. Ah! Woo! Bare feet! Yes! I could go bare feet. <laughs>